Hello everyone, I'm Bigos Sanchez and welcome to another episode of Boshi Monsters Biography. So glad you're here today because we made it to the 145th episode of the series. And boy, I can't wait for what's yet to come. So yes, welcome to Boshi Monsters Biography. We're having a lot of fun here. And this is definitely the right time to take a look at another uh, side character here on the show. It's not a monster, nor a monster link, but we do know that it's a character as, as a cover. So... Yes, this is episode 145 of Mojibasa Spy AKV. We're so glad you're here today. And this one is on Gale Whale. So, welcome to the show. Be prepared. But I have to stay very quiet because Valentina Rose Castellanos Boswell is asleep. Shh, gotta stay very quiet. And we do not want to wake her up. But, anyways, enough said. On to the video. Everyone also has the RPS episode, episode 144, where it was about Gabby out of the techie set. Another boss thing that we covered here on the show. I'll leave a link to it on the top right corner of the screen. The episode was right up there for you to watch. Now, let's not wait for your time and jump right to it. Let's get started. Alright, so who is Gale Whale? Gale Whale is a character in Moshi Monsters. She is a blue striped whale seen around the waters of the cloudy cloth clipper at the port. She is a regular character like Octo, who often appears in the background. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll talk about Octo in a future episode, so please stay tuned. I'll let you know when it comes out. But the character's has name Gale Whale. Occupation flowing in the Potion Ocean debuted in the release of Blur Beach and Horatius of the Cotton Book. Lefty and Bertle, and and about Bertle, uh, and about um, uh, about Captain Buck. It, it was Captain Buck and Barco. I already talked about him on on episode uh, fifty six of the series. Excuse me, on excuse me, on episode fifty seven. So you haven't seen it. Yeah, those who haven't seen it yet, give it a watch again. Captain Buck was on episode fifty seven. Please watch it first before I watch this one. As for Lefty and Bertle, I'll talk about them in future episodes. So please stay tuned for that. Starting, moving over to monstrous biographies, Captain Buck. Being the first to call Buck Captain, Gale Whale has been a major aspect in the direction of Captain Buck, uh, Captain Buck's life. Uh, after saving him, she gave him a tour of all the islands around Monstro City, with the latter being the final stop. As their goodbyes basically went unnoticed, Buck was determined to find her and thank her for what she has done for him. She speaks Welsh, or Welsh, which Buck, much to his surprise, could understand. We go to the character encyclopedia. All the residents of Mo uh, Maine, all the residents of Monster City, are eternally grace grateful to genital giant Gale Whale, who spotted Kids Island one blustery day when she was out exploring a potion ocean. This fantastic find changed the lives of everyone who loved to give and receive gifts, and earned Gale a place in the Moshi history books. Way all the time, Gale's very inquisitive nature makes crush cruising around Potion Ocean and the Seventy Seas a constant adventure as she is on the lookout for new discoveries. The friendly, easy-going whale uses her ham radio to report each discovery back to Monstro City. Opposite the track, Gay Whale and Teeny Weeny Kissy and BMM Bass Moshling mates. As baby ghosts can't swim, Kissy gently floats on Gale water on Gale's water spout. Data file. Location, the waters around Monstro City and out in the open seas. Drop on the for new things. Best Moshi made Kissy. And yes, I'll talk about Kissy in a future episode. Please stay tuned. I'll let you know when it comes out. For the notes, Gale Bubbles with excitement from her blower from her blowhole. You can spot Gale out in the ocean thanks to her distinctive stripes. With a ready smile, Gale is the friendliest monster whale. That's pretty much it for the general biography. General. All the residents of Monster City are eternally are eternally to gentle giant Gale Whale who spotted Kiss Island. One blustery day when she was out exploring Potion Ocean. This fang this fantastic find changed the lives of everyone who loved and who loved to give and receive gifts and earned Gale a place in the Moshi history books. In the Moshipedia, Gale Whale was amongst the was among the first Monstro City residents to spot Kids Island. After achieving fame from her find, she's been watching for new discoveries and reporting via Hab Radio ever since. That's pretty much it. Finally for the trivia. Gale Whale appears in the Best Friend video gift alongside Kiss, alongside Kissy. She is found in the summer in the surroundings of Blur Beach, the port, uh, the port and sea from Gift Island, making her the most present character after the Moshi Sun. And I'll talk about the Moshi Sun in a future episode. If there is a character a biography for the Moshi Sun, I'll let you know. But that's it, guys. That's it for Gale Whale. Final answer for the character. Mm, not sure about that, but eh. but in the end, I already, lo I already love the character. 50% yes, 50% no, but in the end, I love her so much. That's all I gotta say for now. 
But with that being said, I'm going to have to rate Galia up. I'll just get one to ten with a score of 6 out of 10. Decent character, that's all I gotta say. Not the only thing I hear, but that's pretty much it. However, that's only my that's only my personal and conservative opinion. What do you think about the ring? What is your ring? Uh, do you agree? Do you agree with it? Do you agree with my ring? Do you disagree? Is it a yes or is it a no? What do you think about the ring? Let me know down below in the comments, and I might read to you in the next video. But that's it, guys. It's over. That's it for KOL. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you can check out some other videos for you see on the channel. And uh, I have one more episode of Boshi Monster Spike for you later on tonight. And then we move on to Sanrio Character Origins to wrap up tonight. But yes, that's it. It's over. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You be yourself. And I will see you later with another new episode of Boshi Monsters Biography. Hey, the second. Hey, the next letter to come. Uh, hey, the next letter after. Hey, the next character after. Uh, Gail Well, that's right with the letter G, is Gary Goo Letter. But if I click on it, it, it it'll take me straight to Harold uh, Sniff's character page. And that's the good because Gary Goo Letter's page does not exist anymore. Sorry, Gary Goo Letter. But I'll talk about Harold Sniff in a future episode. So, we're, so unfortunately, we're going to skip him. And move on to the next character, which is Gatekeeper, and that will be episode 146 of the series. So, that's pretty much it, so you do not want to miss it. It's the Gatekeeper, who will be on episode 146 of the series, so we'll see you there. Until then, I am Miko Sanchez. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to not miss new video. Everyone, please, please subscribe and notifications so not to not miss another new video from me, as we are on the road to 400 subscribers. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Nico Sanchez, like, favorite, subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Laters!